My name's Isaac, better known as Izzy the Bricky, and I built this massive house with these two hands. You guys are watching a special episode of Izzy the Bricky Weekly. Now, this week's episode has got to be slightly different than the rest. I want to take you guys back on the journey that me and Drew have come on to make this property what it is today. Now, when we first turned up, this used to be a lovely old house. However, we took it down with our bare hands and rebuilt it from the ground up. We had many issues, obstacles to overcome. We've had good times, some pretty bad times, but overall, the job is looking brilliant and I am extremely proud of it. So I want to take you guys on this epic journey with me. I'm still going to be checking in on you guys this week just to show how we're getting on. But right now I'm going to take you back to 2022, July 22nd. We are on a new job today. Well, we're starting a new job. And this is that mansion I spoke to you lads about a while ago. So I'm going to spin the camera around and this is the first time I've even looked at it. So this is what we're looking at. I've only seen the drawings. I think we're taking over, by the looks of it, from someone else. The company I sub to has taken over. So in a bit, we're gonna have a proper look round. So we're gonna be checking the previous Britlayer's work, loading out and just getting our heads into this job. I don't know if I'm looking forward to this or not. When we took over this massive job, we started on the back extension, the basement extension. Now, there was already another bricklayer on this job. However, they left and I took over. When I took over, I discovered quite a few problems, what we had to overcome, either knocking down work or just tweaking work to make everything right. We found out that the building was about 100 mil out of square. Uh, and there was a course picking it, or it was 70 fil 75 mil out of level from one side to the other. So we had to sort out all of these issues and find the finished floor level and get all of the heights to block and beam. Charlie, that's my underside of uh, beam level, yeah? So at this side here, I've got 55 mil. Here, I've got 90 mil. So we're quite far out already. So that means, I imagine it's blues are out as well. Um, these blues are massively out. So you can see that that is hugely out. So in a bit, or when we do the brickwork, I'm gonna take these blues up. I think a bit of this brickwork down here has got to come down as well, just by looking at it. But that's a problem for tomorrow. Big issue I'm having right now is if I plumb down from this line, which is about there, you can see on the brickwork how far I actually need to come in. So Matey's brickwork has drifted out to here, all the way down this panel. And I imagine it's done the exact same over there. I've checked this corner for parallel with the house and it's not too bad at all. So I know this is right, but it's brickwork here, it's drifted out. So I've put my line on here and I'm going to cast it like I have done and then we're just going to have to, this is all going to be tanked anyway, so it's not going to be seen. The tankings, I've got another five courses to go on here, what's going to be tanked, plus another five courses or something like that. So I'm going to just step the brickwork in using this line and then we're going to reset everything out. These are the problems we have when we take over someone's work. You know, mm -hmm. you don't know the score. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a fun day. <laughs> fun day. I'm, I'm dreading this. I'm dreading this. You know, if you've got to put work on the internet, yeah, oh, you've yeah. got to be prepared to have some stick.
job is actually coming along. I don't know how many bricks we've got down today. Hey, party. Honestly, Rick. Matt's <laughs> trying to do an outro. <laughs> how rude. How rude. Anyway, we've got bricks down. We're up to British floor level. And we're celebrating, clearly. Oh, we're celebrating, yeah. Come on! Ooh, progress. Right, sad. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Mate, how, how do people become sparkies? This is well odd. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> so we overcome quite a few problems. And the final problem we had to overcome was the 75 mil difference. I built my brickwork over there, level all the way around and to the back. And then I started working my way back round, following that level up the house. That's when I discovered that there was a course of pig in it. So let's go back to that moment. A couple of issues. This brickwork and that brickwork, what I've bought round, are pretty level within five mil, which is fine. I can get over that when I set my finished floor level and bring it round in those nine courses. The issue I'm having is that I've set this laser to that level just to see what's cracking on. And we're turning this corner onto Matey's brickwork. Just follow me a little bit, mate. Following this brickwork, I'm trying to bring it out and you can read the level there. Something's out massively, yeah? So that's me connecting my brickwork onto his. So I know something's wrong. You can see, I've got 65 mil, pretty much. Mm. Okay, that's how far this is out. Yeah. Which means this panel has a course of pig, okay? Meaning basically, Let's say that panel's got 20 courses in, this one's got 19 or 21, okay? Yeah. It's not level. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> um, so that means I'm gonna take matey's brickwork down, but I should be able to get over it just by taking this down and not trying to marry into it. So yes, that's, that's the problem we're having. Um, <laughs> but we'll be all right. I'm gonna take it down. It don't matter. Like I said, we, I knew we had problems to get over. Just didn't realise how we big had, they were. Yeah, this is like <laughs> the worst nightmare for a bricklayer. So okay, we're gonna take this down and sort it out. Okay, we ended up taking a lot more of Matey's brickwork down because it was just so high. His block work was up here. Everything was just absolutely wrong. Uh, <laughs> without swearing. Um, so we ended up bringing this all round level, really nice, which is perfect. I was scratching my head, talking to Charlie, spoke to the foreman. Talking to himself. Bed, talking to myself. Uh, yeah, like I say, normally you've got another bricklayer to ask or the foreman, but the foreman didn't know, and I was the only bricklayer. But we sorted it, which I'm absolutely buzzing about. So it's almost plain sailing now. One more day of <laughs> and then we're all good. Look at that body. Look at that body. You've just missed out on Love Island, mate. Current day, I'm throwing up this or one of the last buttresses on the job. This is just to support this middle wall. I've already done all of them down there. We're just slowly working our way up. Now, in late August, the block and beam was on downstairs in the basement. Done all the block and beam flooring. I've got a few clips of that. I'll show it now. Three, do one go down. Oh my God, look at that. That is beautiful. You think I've done this before? And I was starting all of the brickwork. Now, during this time, the pressure of the job was slowly getting to me. I mean, in all fairness, between the two of you, it shouldn't be that hard to count up some bricks. I'll... It shouldn't, should it? It I'll shouldn't. Be... One of you, anyone, come help me put this into on, through. And I also had a lot of things cracking off behind the scenes. I was moving house. I was trying to find somewhere to live within four days. So it was a bit of a stressful time. And a lot of that stress ended up coming to work. And some mistakes were made. Hello. Made a mistake. Got a massive patio. Massive steels coming out here into the garden, and uh, I've got two gigantic bifolding doors at DPC level, which is actually there. 
the drawings, uh, no, well, no excuses, just one of them. Um, didn't take me too long to do this, about 45 minutes of pushing. So I'm quickly just gonna take a few bricks down, try and find the measurements from the returns, cause the drawings, drawings ain't got the returns what I need, but as you can see, I've really messed up. Two massive bifolding doors. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just got loads of things on at the moment. Fucking head's dumb. Fun times. <laughs> Fun times. I was just saying to Drew that I can remember that week like it was yesterday. It was a really, really difficult week, just personally and while I was at work. However, we did bounce back like we always do with a smile and some hard work. Me, Drew, Charlie and Jack totally smashed it out this week. It's gone. For saying we had a proper bad week at the start, well, I was having a really bad week at the start, um, we turned it around and we ended up getting there in the end. Yeah, if anyone's struggling, there are resources out there. Mind Your Head podcast and a few other little bits and bobs. So have a little chat with someone and yeah, sort yourself out. Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna go enjoy my weekend. Catch you in a bit. Oh, ice cream. And listen, mistakes happen all the time. Not, well, not all the time, but mistakes do happen. We're not robots. I make mistakes and I imagine a lot of you guys have made mistakes. And that's why I'm happy to show that clip because we are only human at the end of the day. We've just finished building our last buttress, which is gonna be supporting this middle wall. Right now, I am setting up this middle wall here. So, just because of what the structural engineer said about these middle walls being supported, what I've done, I've ran up a 100 mil tray and then I'm also fastening this starter pack to this timber, which is therefore just gonna hook onto this block work. So once again, this is structurally connected to my block work. Now, where we are stood at the moment is where me and Drew, once stood i think it was about september time when we were given the task of taking down the entire house starting with the roof structure the ceiling getting rid of all the all the insulation and then just slowly working our way down taking it all down brick by brick up to make coffee out here yeah, of course you can't power us on. <laughs> <laughs> me and drew are not on the roof we're in the roof standing on the Truss us a grab wagon coming in a couple of days. So me and Drew are gonna get this off rapid style. It should be a good lap. <laughs> the old thumbs up. It's changed a lot since we last in here, or you guys last saw it. As you can see, everything's down. Newsbeat. <laughs> there we go. Right, we have wrapped up working in the dormer. All the block work's done. We have formed this doorway finally, sat the lint on and built up to the timbers. And we've also thrown a restraint in. I do need to throw one more in, but we have run out. Now, as summer drew to an end and the house was totally destroyed, we worked out that we had just over 160 tons worth of bricks, timber and mixed materials go from gra grab wagons because we had quite a few grabs. Yeah, boy. <laughs> right, me and Drew have knocked down that wall. And what we're gonna do now, Drew? We are going to throw most of it out this big hole. 
And yeah, that's just that's how today is going. Yeah, man. Low energy. Well, Low trying energy. to be high energy, <laughs> but just a big hole in the building, taking down all the ceiling. We've thrown out a lot of rubble, loads and loads of rubble. Right now, we are taking down this four-inch wall. Um, so yeah, having a brilliant one day on my dream. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, me and Drew pretty much just cracked on, made a bigger hole, took down this four-inch wall, had a good tidy up. <sighs> Plan of attack for today is we're just going to work our way from this point, going that way. We're going to take down the chimney breast. We're going to take down all these doorways. We're just going to work from this point that way, clearing everything out of the hole. Um, a lot of people ask about the mixed rubble and things like that. It is what it is, we've got a grab wagon coming which will have pretty much anything we stick on. Um, so yeah, that's the plan of attack. Morale is low because we don't want to be here really, do, do we Drew? Not really, no, but... This, this is like the worst job going. Um, so yeah, we're just going to crack on and see what we get done. Yeah, man. <laughs> now, summer finished and then we started the massive dig, one of the biggest footings we have ever dug. It was 900 mil wide eight foot deep. It was absolutely massive. A little overlay video when I explained, oh what, guys, this is what we did. <laughs> yeah. Now, we are downstairs on the ground floor, blocking up this doorway. Now, there's a couple of things you need to bear in mind when you're blocking up a doorway on an old house like this. So, when you block up a doorway on a new build or newer houses, most of the time, the wall you're actually pulling off is plumb and should range in really nice with your new work. However, since this is quite an old house and it's been knocked around quite a bit, some walls are leaning slightly. So if you just come in close here, Drew, and if you can see on the bubble very clearly, but we're just slightly hard on the line there, okay? Now, I could build my wall bang on plumb. However, if I was to do that, this old wall, which is coming like that, and my new wall would end up like this. So does that make sense? I've got wall out of plumb here, wall plumb there so when the plasterer comes to plaster over it he's going to really struggle to dab so what we do we try and range it in best we can and we also try to keep it somewhat plumb like if you just come in here drew check that bubble see it's just slightly hard on the line but not as hard over there so you've kind of got to manipulate your new block work to range into the existing stuff just so it's easier for the plasterer when we do block up a door and it's built up against some existing brickwork, whether it's new or old, we like to use start packs or some sort of mechanical tie that ties our new block work or brickwork into the existing house. Now, in this case, I'm using a start pack. So if you pop around here, you can see how it's bolted in to our existing brickwork. I always like to bolt in to the brickwork not the mortar joint because the mortar joint often is quite soft so you want to secure it into something really hard like brickwork and all you do is you lay out your bed you push this in there and then you just throw a bit more compo over it so it's nicely bonded into the wall <sighs> Like super
There's that one. <laughs> Right, Wednesday, and we are in the back extension. Today, we are going to be doing all of our bean fill we need to get done. Uh, this is something the building inspector obviously pointed out. We know it needs to be done. We've already done one side over there, so we just need to finish off this side. Lots of cutting, lots of measuring, and things like that, but we are getting real close to the finish line. I had to put my hoodie on because it's really cold, but I just needed to show that I'm not fat. Um, <laughs> so by mid-October, October the 22nd, so getting quite close, we had set out all of the blues and all of the trench blocks. So as you can see, the entire house pretty much got knocked down. Um, during the month we were not filming, like I say, the house got dropped. I went on holiday to Cyprus, Drew moved house, I sold a house and moved a house. Charlie unfortunately left us, but it is what it is. There we go, so bubbles plum, touching the block, and I'm just a fraction away from the line. So that is now set perfect, and we are good to go. I'm just gonna do the exact same down there, but just constantly checking your lines, checking your finished floor level, making sure everything works, and then you shouldn't have any problems. Hopefully not, anyway. It's so fluffy. Do I look professional? Very. <laughs> safe in it right at the end of october we started the brickwork on the main extension where the original house was and we absolutely went for it we also took down the rest of the house all the walls have come down the floor joists have come off the one two steels what were there in here have all come off so the job is actually looking like a proper job now I was trying to lift that steel, Drew. Just pulled a hernia. <laughs> <laughs> We've just spent the morning moving 
this steel here and this steel and there's another one knocking about but we spent the morning moving all of those steels so this long steel here is going to be going there to there and that's got to be carrying the flat roof and obviously that steel's for the bifolders and this steel is for those bifolders anyway for now we are going to go lay some bricks It. I need to, I need to get a change of clothes. <laughs> so we're moving this doorway. There was a doorway there, but we're just going to move it here. So it was already a doorway once a while ago. So we're just going to quickly cut it down and throw a lintel in. Now, as we wrapped up a building in October and the scaffold went up, we started really pushing, making sure that we were hitting our targets. However, building a house during November and December and these winter months came quite a few problems. This brother loves me and you. I know, it's a joke, isn't it? Uh, I'll do that first then. Yeah, it yeah. might be more important actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. No, 
Okay, then. Send that, that fire over there. Yep. Chaos! Oh. Pure chaos! Drew just said we need to show the horrible side of bricklaying. This is the horrible side. <laughs> problems going over these soldiers we built yesterday I know this looks a bit extreme but I just want to make sure that nothing starts falling forward Drew has only just pointed these soldiers up as you can see they're still still soaking from yesterday so that's the problem we had this morning and we have got over that now though oh follow me <laughs> follow me right now we are doing the exact same thing around the front again I know this looks a bit extreme these soldiers were laid yesterday and they're still very wet so I'm gonna to have to probably chariot those joints out and point them later on this evening like I just said to the customer Drew and uh, the lad I do some work for I, I could throw this up a lot quicker if I wanted to I didn't have to prop all this I know it's overkill but the thing is this house is going to be here for 200 years okay and it's my name on the front of this ass and the lads we work with and for so it's best just to take our time make sure things are propped and nothing falls forward because like i said the brickwork we build today is like our legacy so we want it to be right We had a really, really slow start. We started laying about half 11 or something like that, just because we had a lot of problems with the electric. We ended up getting 500 down today. For saying we started at 11 and it's almost going dark now. We're putting a decent shift. Only thing is, I can't point this brickwork. I don't know if you can see that on the camera because it's going so dark. These were laid hours ago and they are just absolutely soaking. So we're gonna have to point them tomorrow morning and we'll get here nice and early working on my own today. Drew yesterday was absolutely dying. He's got some sort of sickness bug and uh, he wasn't very good yesterday. So it's gonna be me today working on my own. So I'm gonna change around a few things what I'm gonna do. But I am the best laborer I know. So we should be all right. So we're gonna crack on, get this wall pointed and we'll catch up in a little bit.
<laughs> right, get loose bricks up here now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to the job. As you can see, it's still pretty early. Um, so yeah, yesterday we were battling wind, hence why there weren't many recordings because it was just too windy. Rain constantly, so we was having to cover everything up and then, then come back out to it. However, it's always the same this time of year. Battling wind, rain, ice, snow. It's always the same for bricklayers this time of year. Okay, so this is a problem I'm having. It's Friday and it's been snowing for two days now. And where I live in Derbyshire, the roads are like impassable because they just don't get grid and they're really hilly. But I need to get to the job to finish off a tiny bit of brickwork, grab all of my tools because every single one of my tools are on the job. So yeah, I need to finish some brickwork, grab my tools, because I've got a new job starting Monday. So, we are going to have to brave it and get to the job, even if it's only for a little bit. But there's work to be done. And like always, I am determined. <laughs> there we go. I can't believe you rocked on your motorbike. <laughs> Good lad. We've formed the doorway, 150 mil bearing, and I'm just taking down this wall. Now, jumping right forward to January 2023, I had taken on someone new, Jack, one of my friends. He was only here for a short period of time, but we'll get into that later on. Now, in January, we had a massive push trying to get everything up ready for the steels. Now, bearing in mind, we're on third lift. Thousands of bricks had to go up the ladder. Tons and tons of compo, hundreds of seven Newton concrete blocks up the ladder to make sure that we were ready to build our pad stones and sit all the steels on for the join us and for the roof. Easy, Sam. Nah. Oh nah. 
I need to cock it up and get it up there. I might switch the camera off for this part. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> no way. We are going to sit on this field there, and then we're also going to come round here, and we're also going to sit on this field where we've sat the pad stone. So right now, we'll set some trestles up, use some muscles, and it shouldn't take too long. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, scruffy bugger left all this here. <laughs> so by the 30th of January, we had all of the steels on. But at this time, I had some really important decisions to make. Now, when I first started this job, way back when it was 2022, the first day on the job, I even mentioned it, that someone else had taken this job on and I was just subbing to them. However, the subby I worked for decided to step away from the job. And this left me with an important decision to make personally and a business decision. So I decided to leave the person I was working for and continue this monstrous project I was so invested in and find all of my own work. Um, however, over the last few months, I think it's important for me to step up and take on this role just for the simple fact that I will be therefore in control of everyone's wages and things like that. Um, so although I never wanted to do this, I just like laying bricks and I don't like all the other side of things and running jobs, um, I think it's important for myself and Drew and for the short period Jack was here I think it's impo important for me to step up now and take charge of money and things like that because I'm uh, I can't say too much but there's a bit of a cat and mouse game going on and I don't want that for myself anymore or Drew and Jack even though he's gone now <sighs> last few bricks going up now in February, the job was on target for the roof going on and things were going pretty well. I had sent up all of the gables ready to take the steel ridge beam, which was turning up the next day. So they had to go up.
However, I think we had a storm or it was just a really, really windy day. And even though we did our best to prop all these massive four inch gables that had gone up, the wind unfortunately took them and there was a slight setback. So done with this ladder. Oh. Here he comes for the final time. Well, one of the final times. Oh, so, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Even though this is quite a big setback, luckily for myself and Drew, we were mates with a couple of good bricklayers. One of them being Craig Todd, who did a 350 mile round trip in one day to give us a massive push to get these gables back to where they were the day before. So everything you have seen over the last 40 minutes has led to where we are stood today doing our final, final bit of brickwork. And I could not be happier and more surprised. Now, I say surprised because during this job, during the seven months we've been here, there has been so much self-doubt in my own ability just to do such a humongous job like this and liaising with the client, sorting materials, steels, just the entire job. So although I am so happy to get to this stage, it was not easy and there's been so much self-doubt, but I could not be prouder looking back at this footage, what I've just shown you guys, and just looking at the job as a whole, I am, I'm absolutely buzzing. And there is one constant I always stick by, and it's shown throughout this entire build, and that is just perseverance and a lot of hard work. Because without our perseverance and hard work, this job would not be where it is today. Now, with that being said, let's crack on and do the final bit of brickwork on this job. I am so happy. So me and Drew are going to get this on the right days ahead. So we'll load that and then just pick up the trail straight away. You can't see me. Smiley cave. <laughs> where we're stood. Right now, where we're stood was that huge like roof up to all the way down and we had to take it down by hand. Do you remember? Yeah, because that's when all the lead mysteriously went missing on the job, isn't it? <laughs> you know, when we took it all down. <laughs> Can we all just appreciate Drew for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, look at him go! I can't believe you made the last mix too wet, so I've got to add sand and cement to it to dry it up. Dickhead.
I couldn't even speak so I'm that happy. <laughs> There we go, <laughs> we're finished. After about 103 days, I think it was, over the course of seven months, like I say, we finished the back extension, we knocked down an entire house by hand and then rebuilt it from the ground up. And there has been so many ups and downs and some really good points, some really bad points. But overall, I am astonished that we actually finished the build and I actually couldn't be prouder of myself and Drew for completing this monstrous project. Yeah, I just can't believe it. I'm, I'm actually speechless that it's done. That works? Yes. Yeah, yeah I reckon that works. And I've, and I've got the mic. Yes. Drew, how do you feel about completing this build? Oh, completely... Uh... To be honest with you, I don't really, you don't really realise until it's coming to an end. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's massive, isn't it? It's, too, it's way, way too, too big. Yeah, <laughs> way honestly. too big. If we ever do a project this big again, we will have a forklift. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll have a forklift. But we just couldn't have one on this job. But yeah, the job is finally done. You have carried up all the bricks and the compo and all the blocks, and I have laid them all. Good teamwork. Yeah, man. Good teamwork. Sam. Now, I wouldn't have been able to do this huge extension all by myself. Um, there was a lot of help from some other people, mainly Drew, <laughs> the cameraman. Uh, no, Drew has been absolutely amazing on this job and picked me up when I'm down and vice versa. And it's been, it's been fun working with him for seven months on this job. Um, and then also I had Charlie right at the start of this job. He was here just to help out while Drew was joining the RAF. Um, and then we had Jack for a little while during summer. And then for a very brief period, he joined me and I was going to take him on. But with Efton, what was cracking off um, behind the scenes, I couldn't take him on full time, unfortunately. But he has also had his hand in this job. So a massive thank you. To all of them i know it looks like it's all me doing this but it's really not it's drew it's been jack it's been charlie uh and the joiner and that's about it so thank you guys i appreciate it one take isaac one take isaac now as you've seen the job is pretty much done and i am absolutely thrilled with the end result don't get me wrong there's a couple of steels uh on the patio area to put in but that's when the scaffold's going to be down way way in the future so i just want to say thank you so much if you've stayed and watched this far into the video and if you have skipped and you're just watching this part thank you anyway for watching along i do appreciate all of the support anyway myself and drew will catch you guys on a much smaller extension next week thank you very much for watching <laughs>